This show contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. I hope I can trust you to uh, safely transport us when the business is done. Yeah. <clears throat> sure. Yeah, I don't ask questions. I, I just... I'm a taxi driver. I don't care about your affairs. That's why I knew to call you there, Tony. That's why I knew to call you. Make you famous, buddy. <laughs> Just follow behind us here, Tony. Why the fuck you gotta get me involved in this, huh, Jimmy? Like, what the fuck, man? Mr. What Williams, the fuck is this? You gotta just calm down, right? You gotta calm down. Fucking the calm down. You can do, hey, the best thing you can do is keep a level head, alright? Figured I'd be a part of. Yeah, well, uh, you know, sometimes it happens that way. You don't think you're a part of it, then you become a part of it, all right? Oh, I'm in it now. Just gotta fucking hurry up, you know, I feel like, uh... feel like, I don't know, somebody's gonna be looking soon. Shall we give a final farewell to our, to our, our good friend here? No, I don't even care about this guy. He's fucking dead anyways. Fucking damn it. I was thinking that I ran away from Liberty City because of all this shit. And now, here I am again. There we go, that was fun. Alright, yeah, we're good now, uh, Terano. We okay? Yeah, 100%. Let's just get the fuck out of here, Let's just right there. Yeah, let's fucking go. I agree with him on that. Let's fucking go. I do appreciate this, Mr. Moretti. Uh, yeah. Very helpful. Yeah. See, look at this. See, now, we would have had to walk yeah. all this way. We would have had to get our shoes dirty. And, you know, I mean, now we just save some time, you know, because you can just drive us back. Yeah, I sure can. I know uh, this is a kind of a no ask uh, questions kind of business you got going on, but I feel like you can somehow trust me a little bit, you know? Can't you trust a broker boy? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell you as much as I can, eh, Mr. Moretti, because I do trust you as a broker boy, and plus, you know, when I tell you this, then um, that really means you can't do nothing against it. Not that I don't trust you, but, uh, you know, gotta have contingencies, eh? Of course. Basically, that, yes. that fucking cunt right there, that fucking piece of shit. His name was Joey Mancini. He's from uh, the Mancini crime family down in uh, Broke, Liberty City. The fuck you just City. say? Joey Mancini. A Mancini here. I, I thought those fucking bastards stayed in fucking Liberty City. What does this fucking Do mean, not know what Mancini oh, boy. is? Fuck. Well, I got an idea oh, here. Uh, uh, hello. Yeah, uh, don't... Nothing wrong here. Need some help, man? No, no, it's okay. All right, man. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All good. Taking a break. God. Jesus. Uh, hey, Mr. Moretti, I, I suggest you step back in the car. Oh, boy, man. Mancini, you fucking said that was, was a Mancini from the Mancini family. All right, Mr. Moretti, I, I'm sitting, all right? I wouldn't just fucking do that to nobody. It was Joey Mancini. Why you freak out so bad there? I thought you were just a taxi driver. It seemed like Jimmy and I shared more in common than I thought. It was time for me to tell the whole story. <sighs> Alright, listen, um... <sighs> so I wasn't all straight when I met you and I told you why exactly I was here and all that. Not really just a change of scenery and I'm guessing you are under the same kind of predicament maybe. I, I'm not sure, but here's my end of it. I see, I, uh, I had family, my brother, Bobby, God rest his soul, and my father, of course, God rest his soul, both in a Fiori family. I'm sure you're familiar? Yeah, I am. I am. Well, that being said, they fucked up, right? The whole family fucked up, but mainly these Mancinis were after my dad and my brother, and apparently, for some reason, they think I might be a part of this shit. 
So I got dragged into it. Now, I'm not telling you that I didn't go around doing some jobs once in a while. You know, my brother and my father needed some rides, and I was a good fucking Doberman for some of this shit. So I was no stranger to what was going on back there. It's not like something I'd never seen before. But I left that life behind. I tried to come here, fucking run away from these bitches. I'm not, I'm not equipped to fucking defend myself. You all fucking know better than me, and just having a gun on you is not enough. I don't know what to do right now. Now you're telling me the Mancini's are here. Yeah, I'll tell you this, sir. Ray, since you've been fucking telling me your whole slap story here, yeah, might as well fucking share a little bit of mine, man. Get us on even ground so we can relate a little bit, all right? You fucking hate the Mancini's, I hate them too. It was part of a really, really fucking tiny, tiny ass family down in Broca Liberty City. After a while, I started rising up and uh, going into new business ventures, you know, making cash the way you do. And, uh, well, uh, one thing led to another. Stepped on too many Mancini toes. And uh, they started coming after me, which is why I, I decided to visit my nice two friends here in Los Santos. Yeah. You know, get away from it all like you did, but uh, I guess <laughs> those Mancinis are pretty fucking persistent. I got a tip that he was in town. I got a buddy that works at the fucking airport. Did you uh, get confirmation before you popped him in that trunk? Yeah, exactly. It was one of them. You know that much. Mr. Moretti, we ain't sloppy over here, all right? We ain't some fucking low time thugs. We know what we was doing. We know who he is. And now the problem is solved for both of us. Eh? Consider it a favor for you, too, because now this bastard won't come fucking around with you. Yeah, but now you understand. <laughs> you, you, you know this, right? There's more that's going to come now. He will not report in. And when that happens, oh, fuck. we're screwed. He's right. What's your name again? It's Kyle, right? Yeah, Kyle, yeah. All right, Kyle. Well, listen. Okay, we don't know anything yet for sure. Okay, they, they, that could have been just the one guy they sent. They probably got the message if he done return. Maybe they won't hit us again. All we could do is... You gotta play the I fucking... The, fucking the waiting know. game. You gotta have a little bit of... A little bit of patience there, right? A little bit of fucking patience. Yeah, that's what my grandmother always told me. With my experience, they're gonna come back, Jimmy. Okay? Well, then we better we get ready for our Mr. Do. Moretti, huh? We should take this time to prepare. I got an idea. Now, what if... I don't know, it sounds a little crazy and all, but... Uh, what if... We start a small family. Just to scare them off, you know, to think that maybe we've got into this big thing. We could maybe look like tough guys around here and get the word out there we're not to be fucked with. When these Mancinis get here, they're gonna start asking locals, right? If, if the locals say he's some hotshot who goes around in a suit with the rest of his 14 other friends, some kind of mafia, some kind of family, whatever, you know, you scare them off. You have to rethink. The Mancinis, they're known for their hit squads, you know. They go in, they do it clean, there's no dirt, nobody knows, they get out, and it's over for the person they go after. Fantastic. I'm, I'm trying to fucking... Uh, I'm trying to prove that wrong, all right? I hear. Yeah, well, let's, let's, let's do that, huh? You know, 44 fucking years old. In all my life, this shit's been around me. I tried to stay away, and it seems like I just can't. It's inside you. It's a part of you. You can't fucking leave this. Your demons are faster than you. Look, Jimmy, I'm gonna start my own thing here. I'm tired of running away, and I don't want to be scared like a little bitch, because that ain't how I've been raised. I wasn't even part of the Fiori family, and they still, they, they're coming after me, you understand? It just shows you they want to get all the links. What if we have unlimited links? What if it becomes really difficult to get to us and everybody else around us? See where I'm getting that? We protect ourselves. Now you're welcome to join what I want to do here. I can't run away from this whole fucking business. I'm not gonna fucking run, so forget about it. If I'm gonna fucking die, I'm gonna fucking die real high. You live by the gun, you die by the fucking gun. If what you're all fucking saying here is true, then you know what? I mean, I guess I fucking have to do it, so fuck it. Me and Mr. Me and Mr. Toronto over here, we got a lot of fucking friends between us. You can go home, you can cool off, you know, make sure you lock your doors, close your windows, and just lay low. Me and Mr. Toronto will go do our networking and then we'll text you. We'll get everyone that we can. Yeah, sounds about right. I couldn't believe what I was doing. Stayed away all my life only to end up leading my own family. Needless to say, I was still adjusting to it all. And part of that was the fancy dressing and of course, a weapons license. 
Have you ever heard of a Don without a gun? I would like to acquire a uh, gun license. I was told this is where I needed to go. A gun license, alrighty. Um, what's your reason for requiring this weapons license? Well, I'm a taxi driver and, you know, sometimes I have uh, trouble with some clients, you know. Uh, they cause me trouble or threaten mm -hmm. me. Yeah, I'm just kind of tired of being the one that's always under, you know what I mean? <laughs> no protection, don't feel understand. right. Can you uh, show me some ID and uh, of course, get of the course, process officer. started? Yes. Do you have any uh, past convictions or anything like that? Uh, I do oh, not. Already. I do not. Hey, the fuck up, huh? I'm next. Hello? Calm the fuck down, huh? You're n Whoa. Let's say who's no next. No cocksucker. Jesus Christ, you're man, this boy. Uh, can, you, can you repeat your first name, sorry? Uh, Tony. Tony, Tony, Tony. Mr. Moretti, uh, I don't see any issues here, but uh, if you give me a minute, I'll just start the process and I'll, uh, you know, I'll just print out your license for you. Excellent. I just let you know there is a uh, there is a cost of ten thousand dollars for these licenses. I understand. Perfect. All right. I now had a weapons license and later got myself a nice vintage pistol. Just wish I had it before so I could teach that fucking impolite chooch in there a lesson. Later that evening, I met with Jimmy and Kyle for an update. You've been uh, recruiting around. How's that going? Hey, you just missed uh, Brandon's cousin. I think his name is Ken or something like that. Toronto got Mr. Macano and his cousin. He got uh, both of those uh, Scarpacci boys. Uh, Mr. Williams here. He's on board. I got my friend Calvin Horn is on board. Everybody will meet each other, mingle up, you know, shake hands, get acquainted. And then uh, you can come through and uh, meet everybody. Yeah. And then Jimmy tested me. Tony, let me ask you though, huh? You, uh... I don't know, just the way you've been talking lately, uh, it seems like you already got your, your mind set on uh, running this little business we got here. Now, that, that just don't make too much sense to me. Why doesn't that uh, make sense what? to you, Jimmy? You, uh, oh, you're yeah, a taxi yeah. driver. You were never in a business. You have no experience. Yes, you do know the ins and outs, and you got family inside of it, but uh, you were never in a business. Now, I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't be doing it, but I'm just trying to say, you know, I don't take loose ends. I don't take chances, so... It, you know, you wouldn't be standing here with me if you didn't trust it already. I might not have been directly inside, but you said it yourself. I know the ins, the outs, and I've had family in very high positions. I know exactly what the hell I'm doing. I never wanted to do it before, but of course, I'm not gonna listen to fucking nobody. And that's why I never fucking that's join these things. So I'm doing this yeah. with or without you both. No disrespect, I just needed to make sure. And like I said, I don't think you're not capable. I just wanted to make sure that you knew everything was, you know, going on. Now, you have to remember that, Tony. These are my friends that I'm bringing in here. These are Mr. Toronto's friends. You know, uh, they're not going to pony up so so quickly, which means that you're going to have to probably come down on some of these guys. Exactly. I'm just trying to let you know. I'm not trying to undermine you. I'm not trying to fucking say you're not the shit. All right? I'm just trying to let you know what some of the opinions are going to be. Tony, he's, he's fucking got it. You know, he's got the fucking look. He's got the voice. He can fucking do it, Jimmy. Yeah. They just decided they said yes to you. They said yes to Toronto. Then they said yes to me. A few days later, Brandon called us over to Rogers Salvage and Scrap and managed to get it off the hands of the owner. A bit of paperwork here and there would later make me the owner. This would become our place of legitimate work. You see, a family like us needs a front as one cannot just say, I work for the Mafia. So this was perfect. Now look at this, boys. It's a fucking beauty. Yeah. You realize that uh, someday this could actually all be ours if we take this seriously. You know that, huh? Play our cards right, maybe. But uh, Mr. Toronto, I am I'm very eager to to see what you can bring me from uh, you know importing from the helipad and the uh, the dock. Hey, over. I can import just about anything you need. I just need money to do it. Yeah, it's not a problem. See, uh, by the docks, there's a dude there who keeps importing cocaine in and out. We can take control of his operation, you know, kind of have a, a guy or two. Probably two or three, rather, sitting there, protecting yeah. the area, making people pay a fee. Uh. And they say no or something, well then the boys roll up with the guns and they uh, make him sleep with the fishes and take the money he has on him anyway. Tomorrow, we meet with the family. And later, we take this city. Um, 
Mr. <laughs> I mean, Don Moretti. Your troops are white. All right, I'll be uh, I'll be down in a minute if you don't mind. Uh, you could wait at the door over there. I'll be there in just a minute. Uh, just need a second here. All yeah, right. I think. Hey, of course. Not gonna lie, I was nervous as fuck. However, it was too late to back down. It was time for me to be a Don. Yeah, the attention. We're all here because we share a common interest. I am Tony Moretti, and I'm going to be your Don. <laughs> 